Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to fix shaky or jittery footage after using stabilize motion and lock on in After Effects. This issue can happen for several reasons, whether you're shooting handheld or even with a gimbal. In many cases, slight jitter comes from the gimbal not being properly balanced and once you stabilize or speed ramp your footage, those small movements become much more visible in AE. So the first rule is, if you're shooting with a gimbal, make sure it's well balanced. But even if it is and you're still seeing jitter after stabilization, don't worry, there are a few effective ways to fix it and I'll walk you through them in this tutorial. Once you drop your clip into the After Effects timeline, the first thing to do is apply the warp stabilizer effect. Set the smoothness to around 15%, this is usually a good starting point. However, the ideal value depends on how shaky your footage is. If it's extremely shaky or only slightly unstable, you may need to adjust the setting. But in most cases, 15% works well without making the footage look unnatural. Next expand the advanced section of the warp stabilizer settings. Enable detailed analysis for a more precise result and make sure to disable fast analysis, this will force After Effects to perform a deeper and more accurate stabilization, especially useful for footage with complex motion or subtle jitter. Once the analysis is complete, play back your footage to review the result, it should already look much smoother. If you're happy with how the warp stabilizer handled the shake, remember that this is only the first step. We will now apply stabilize motion and lock on in the center. But before doing that, there are a few important things you should know to make sure everything works accurately and effectively. Let's go over them next. First pre-compose your clip and make sure both move all attributes and adjust composition duration are selected, then click OK. Next scroll to the beginning of the timeline and pre-compose the layer once more. This helps keep things clean and prepares the clip for proper tracking. Now double-click the new pre-comp to open it, then click on track camera and wait for the analysis to finish. Once the camera tracking is complete, I'll select tracking points around the car badge, since I want to stabilize and lock on directly to that area. Right-click on the selected tracking point, then choose Create Solid and Camera. This will generate a tracking solid that's locked to the movement of your footage, along with a 3D camera that matches the scene perfect for anchoring effects or stabilizing specific areas like the car badge. Now we need to make sure the anchor solid is perfectly aligned with the car badge. If it's even slightly off, the lock-on effect won't look accurate. To help with precise alignment, apply the grid effect to the track solid layer. This will give you visual reference lines, making it easier to center the solid exactly on the badge. Let's preview the video. As you can see, the solid is now perfectly centered on the badge and stays locked in place throughout the clip, exactly what we want for a clean lock-on effect. Next reduce the scale of the track solid to make it smaller, just enough to stay out of the way visually, like this. Make sure the solid remains visible and locked in place from the beginning to the end of the clip, so your tracking stays accurate throughout the shot. Once everything looks perfect, disable the grid effect, then toggle off the footage layer. Next return to your main composition, here you will see only the track solid. Now you can proceed to stabilize and lock onto the track solid using the stabilize motion feature. However there are a few important things to keep in mind as the main jitter often originates from these tracking points. Let me explain why this happens and how you can avoid it. Drag the track point onto the solid, ensuring it remains perfectly centered. Next increase the size of the track point, making the inner box slightly larger than the track solid itself. This helps After Effects maintain more accurate tracking by giving it a better reference area. Now a common mistake is making the outer box too small in an attempt to speed up tracking. This actually causes the main jitter problems. To avoid this, always keep the outer box slightly larger than the inner box. This ensures more accurate tracking and reduces jitter in your footage. Keep in mind, the faster the tracking, the less accurate your stabilization will be. Conversely, slower, more deliberate tracking allows After Effects to deliver much more precise and stable results. So keep the outer box slightly larger like this. Next click on Options. Select RGB, then enable Adapt feature on every frame and click OK. These settings help improve tracking accuracy for smoother stabilization. Now click the track button and wait for the analysis to complete. Once finished, click apply and then OK. Close the tracking window, return to the pre-comp tab, toggle off the track solid layer and toggle your original clip back on. Finally close the pre-comp tab and return to your main composition to review the result. As you can see the clip is buttery smooth. The only remaining steps are to fix the black edges and then recenter the clip until the badge is perfectly aligned in the frame. I will start by enabling the proportional grid. Next press S on the keyboard to reveal the scale property and increase the scale until the black edges disappear. Finally recenter the clip until the badge is perfectly aligned and we're done. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.